thing too in this room is going to be the bed. I'm going to shoot onto this bed. Now, because I want to keep the shots quite tight and I want to exclude background, I'm going to work on the 100mm lens. Um, because the tighter the lens, the less background you see in the shot, which is really handy. Let's have a look at what we're going to do. I'm going to shoot from here. Now, what I'm going to have, I've got this this window here and I've got a light coming through the window. Of course, windows themselves aren't light sources. They're just apertures that the light comes through. And the light source itself is the sky. So I've got to be careful not to block too much of that. So if I get down low, that's the light from that sky will come over my head and into Stina's eyes. So Stina, who's, I'm going to have her head this end, maybe her feet back round over here. Uh, and I think it'll look great. So and I'm going to work quite tight. And that should be a nice, beautiful, soft light. It's like having a soft box, perhaps, just over the top of the camera and behind. But I want the, the light to be... I want it to feel like we're in summer. So I'm going to put another light over here. I'm going to put a Lupo, which is a daylight-balanced HMI light, up here. And create this sort of shaft of sunlight, as if it's coming through another window. Um, because it's dull, it's January, it's dark. I don't think I've ever seen a darker day than we've got today. I want everything to come alive. So this is the sort of thing that I would shoot anywhere, any time of year. Now, to start with, we need to address the scene. I don't think this bedspread is what we need. So I'm going to strip the bed down to a sort of a white zone and scatter cushions. I've never have worked out what scatter cushions are for, but that's perhaps a bloke thing, but I'll get these out of the way. I'll move these over to here where they're not in the way of the, where I'm going to put my light. Let's strip this off. Yeah, we've got some white. That's good. We might need to whip down the um, pillows a bit. Those will be all right. They'll be fine. This will be fine here. That's good. I'll just pop that down over here out of the way. Um, it's also worth knowing, actually, when I'm shooting from that side, I've got these elements here in the back of shot. I've got the potential to see a radiator. I'm really not fussed about radiators. They don't sort of do anything for me. So I'm going to try and shoot so that I've got probably from here across this way. But when you get little pieces of furniture like this, it's the contrast that makes them stand out in the background. If you reduce the contrast of the background, we'll be fine. So I'm going to take this out of the way. Put that over there. This screen as well. This just is a an old fireplace here, I think this will be fine. So if I've got that as an area of background, I think that on a 100mm lens that should look fine. So I've got to get the light in, then we'll get Steena in and be ready to go. OK, here's my Lupo. Um, it's a, an HMI light. It's quite sort of chunky, but it's not heavy. So I'm just going to rig it over here, and just put a bit of sunlight into there, something like that. I'm just going to plug it in. I tend to use extension leads when I'm working in the house because what I can do then is just move the light around in the room to any place of the room without having to unplug it and, and plug it back in in different places. It's just quite easy. So I'll just put that into here. Put that into there. OK, it takes a moment for the light to sort of come up um, and get up to, up to speed. But while it's doing that, let me quickly show it to you. Um, it's just got a concentric rings here, and I can flood and spot the light to create a different effect. So it's like a mag light. You can spot it up and, and, and zoom it out. And I've got some barn doors as well. So I'm going to use these barn doors just to create a sort of slash of light across the bed, which is going to simulate sort of that sunlight. Let's get the light a little bit higher. I think that'll work well there. I've also got the opportunity I can dim the light as well if I want to. I've got a one-stop dimmer on here. Um, I'm going to leave it just about there, that's fine. And once Christina's in, we can fine-tune the light if we, as we need. Great, so if you look at the bed here, you can see that the light... I'm not letting the light run over this side of the bed, because I want the rest of the room and I want the, everything to be as dark as I can, in a way. I just let the sunlight come across there. I think Stina's head will be here, and so I should get that lovely little rim light around her hair, and it'll just be enough to make the picture look like it's a summer's day. Stina, could you like to come in? Oh, you ready? Okay. Good, OK. Now, what I'd like you to do is, we come around the other side. I'm going to reverse it a bit, actually. I'd like your head to be this end here, and I'd like your feet to be over here. So you're sort of diagonally across the bed, sort of upside down on the bed, if that makes sense. And I'm going to shoot into this zone here. I might just move. Could you lie on your side for me? I'm going to just adjust this light, but looking out the window. 
to there. Yes, that's about it there. That's fine. In fact, the light is in a good position, but if I bring it back this way, just that little bit, I'll make sure that I haven't got the stand in the back of the shot. That'll make don't want to be dealing with Photoshop, so having to edit out stands and things. We don't really want to use Photoshop at all if we can avoid it. Just working in Lightroom would be fantastic. OK, that's good. Now, I'm shooting a lot of these pictures in colour, but the chances are I'm going to print them in black and white. Um, I just love black and white for boudoir type photography, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to shoot everything in colour, but maybe in the post-production you'll see the black and white options. OK, let's go and have a little look. Right, so I'm going to shoot from here. Now, with that 100 mm lens, I need to get back, as I say. I need to get back beyond here. Um, I'm going to use this chair, because if I get down into this chair, then I haven't, I'm not blocking that sky. Great, OK. Work with a horizontal. Um, exposure. This is a good question, really. It's probably pretty close to where we were. It's window light. We've gone in another metre into the room from, the, from a little six I did earlier. So um, I think I might open the lens and stop. Actually, I'm going to leave it at 2.8. I'm going to take the shutter speed down to 80th. I'm on 800 ISO. Let's have a little look and see where we go to. Um, occasionally, I look through the camera and I can see the sort of the, the linear, the analog scale in the camera and decide where the camera's going to set the exposure. And then I have a little look at that. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to look at this here. So we've got beautiful skin tone here. It's bright enough. This, this white top that. Stina's gone on, is, is white here. I can still see a little bit of detail. Occasionally it's worth zooming in, okay, and going in and just checking that you can see that that looks like white cotton, which it does. I've got all that detail, that's fine, and I've got the skin tone looking beautiful, nice light in Stina's eyes. We're good to go. That's a nice exposure. It's 80th of a second, f2.8 at 800 ISO. And this beautiful rim light here looks like a sunny day. I'm going to start shooting. This is, looks fantastic. Just looking straight to camera for me. Just drop your chin down a little bit. That's it. And open your eyes up to me. That's lovely. Fantastic. Okay, straight, straight into the camera. That's beautiful. Just bring your arm down and just rest your head down onto your arm. Go the other arm. Just rest your head down onto there. Because um, does it fold underneath or is it going <laughs> it might snap? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that. Love that. I look a little worried, I think it's a little bit less worried. Yes, it's, um, just dip your chin, bring your head down to there again, that's nice. Bring your hand across, so you rest your head onto there. There, lovely. That's beautiful. Hold that there. And you just get down, because I'm aware I'm just blocking the light. The pictures are looking fantastic. Just extend those fingers from, that's it, lovely. Thank you. Straight into the camera. That's it there. A little bit warmer and an expression. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, love that. Just your hands, your fingers are a little yeah. curled. I just want them to just just rest them, just put them on your arm. The fingertips onto the, onto the top part. That's it there. Love. That's nice. That's beautiful. I want you to tuck, bring both hands down in front of you and just rest, rest your head down onto your hands as if you're just going to. That's it there. Hold that there. Lovely. That is fantastic. Close your eyes. Yeah. These pictures are going to be fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Have a look. Have a look. Yeah. You're gorgeous. do a couple more pictures. I'm going to do one from above. So I've been down here, shooting down at this eye height here. What I'm going to try and do, so I shoot from, let's say, sit up on here, then when Stina looks back up to camera, there's a sense of more vulnerability because I'm shooting from above. Let's give that a go. So let's, let's get up here, extend the bottom monopod legs out first, and then you never have to bend down. It's always a handy thing to do. So let's have a little look here. So can I just get you to Wrap your hands around the other side of your head to there. And just duck, tuck, tuck down underneath that elbow, that's that shoulder there. Oh, I love that. Perfect. Yeah, that's nice. And the hands, let's just see where I'm going to go. Just make more of your hair, I think. Just a lap, that's it. 
yeah per i love that beautiful bring a bit more hair back on this side just let a little bit come down just down into here this side here just just a small amount that's it yeah perfect and now bring it now now duck down behind your chicken just take just take that little bit out of your eyes there that's it yeah that's it there that's the light that's the look i want beautiful beautiful oh excellent thank you very much wonderful okay so what i can do now these are these are all high key bright pictures sunny day type pictures where we've got that light coming through the soft light from the window and the sunlight coming through from behind let's see if we can shoot something which is just a bit darker a bit more low-key, a bit more sort of gritty, perfect for black and white. <laughs> 